Did you audition or did they just bring you in and you came in because it was like you were replacing someone and it was last minute? And also, what other things do you remember I, I, from that shoot? So I think I did, I may have read for them uh, while I was there or I came on, but it was, like you said, it was a very rushed process and it, and it just sort of snowballed into one thing after another. Obviously, Peter knew what, where, where I could take it, you know, or, or where we could go with it. Um, and I just remember, you know, the, the biggest thing is, is the ability that they allowed me to come in and make this part, uh, my own, you know, even, even from a standpoint of my hats, you know, those were all my personal hat collection. Yeah. The flat cap. Yeah, yeah, the the candles, and you know, for me, it made the the it just brought the character to life and made me embody this thing. And um, I'm so grateful that they they allowed me to do that. And you know, <clears throat> there were things like we were talking before with the zinger. Oh well, let me tell you about that, Paulie. Where, so everybody where, knows uh, Disney. Disney, if yeah, yeah, if I yeah. may. Because uh, uh, everybody, Polly has a wonderful line in uh, Curb Your Dragon, uh, which is the dog episode where the Russos get a dog and you never see the dog again in the whole <laughs> series, which is wow. so funny. But um, Disney said to all of the powers that be who ran the show, we need more zingers. We want more zingers, which for people that don't know is a <laughs> is a boom, is a thing, is a joke. Is, is, it, a, is a setup punchline. Is set is up a, punch a, yes, we need yeah. more jokes. But they said zingers, so then they actually literally <laughs> had you say zinger, uh, and you can't say zinger. You got to say zinger. Got to end that. with a G A. And and um, something smells. Something doesn't smell right on Waverly Place. <laughs> you know what? I I I'm, you know again. I'm gonna toot yeah. your horn, my friend, because I I was ready for Paulie to have a spinoff. Right. You know, I was ready for that to be its own show because yeah. it was so funny. Like every single thing you say. And also, I may say that there's a newsstand inside Waverly Substation. And there was a, a man who was there who was an extra yeah. who was a uh, news. But then all of a sudden, it was a newsstand right outside yeah. of the sub shop that you were at, which was really funny. Oh, Things just magically it's, appear. It's, so, yeah, they just magically yeah, appear in the it's Disney magic. World. It's magic. It's magic. Yeah. Of course. Well, and we were a magic it's show, magic. so we could yeah. very much justify it. But what we've talked, David and I have talked a lot about we we lucked out so much with a lot of our like players that came to play with us yeah. because we had so many people, and yourself definitely included, who came and just committed one hundred and ten percent, brought so much beyond what was on the page. And like you talking, like I love hearing. I didn't know that like you brought your own hats, like the wardrobe, like you helped influence, like that. Brings me so much joy to know that like you were that involved in creating that character all the way through because you really did just yeah. bring it and come and swing in like right from the beginning. What were some of your favorite Frankie? Oh moments? yeah, yeah. Well, first, I want to say that you know, going back to I, I was privileged to work with so many talented and wonderful actors and and masters of their craft, and and the one thing that is a unanimous thing is that whether you have one line or you have a hundred lines, you have to be so present and show up mm -hmm. and, and be there. And I'll be honest, whether it was, you know, Faith Ford or Kelly on Hope and Faith or whether it was Ben Affleck or even Meryl Streep, even if you're off camera and you have a line with another actor, you stay there. That's, Amen. there's no questions asked there. That's just a respect. That's a respect that you give that other human being who is this in the same field as you. And when you truly love this movie making, television making, whatever it is, this creative process, uh, you have to give up yourself and, and take what you do seriously, not yourself. Yeah, it, it's so true. We were talking about before, too, about how, like, when I first started, I had uh, 
one of my acting coaches who has been with me through a lot of this and is a friend more than an acting coach, but she said to me, she goes, you know, the sad part is, is she's like 95 to maybe 98% of actors are in it for personal reasons. And in the sense of like, they're in it for validation or because they need something, something external. It's not like an internal reason. And then there's that, there's that select few that are true, like tried and true actors that just love the art of it. They don't need anything else. They just need to act. They need to create. They're just artists, and that's part of their expression. And and you are one of those ones that, like, just in the way that you talk, the way that you conduct yourself, the way that you are such a collaborator on set, like, you're one of that, like, few percentage of actors that you can tell is just an artist and just is there because you love the art and the creativity of it. And it's so refreshing. Yeah. Because, like, you get actors that are so, like, look at me, look at me, look at me. And it's, like, the really great... Saying that that's me, Jen? No, no okay, not, at all, not at all. <laughs> Wait, look at me, look at me. <laughs> I gotta do my comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. There's different personality types, but because the thing is, is here's the the bottom line is is someone who is an actor because they love other actors and they love the art does exactly what Polly was saying. Is they show up for their other actors and they're there to collaborate and tell the best story that they possibly can. It's not about them. Right, one hundred percent. I am I am just in awe of you and that and you know if any people are listening if you guys are listening and you want to be an actor you listen to what Paulie just said because that that is the key and, yeah. and making a choice I mean geez we've talked about making a choice you you were the choice you know what I mean like yeah, you, yeah. You, you know there, there there was nothing that was there prior in that part that you did that you know, you brought it all there. You know what I mean? Like that was well. That was you were intense. the you were the only you. Going back, we're piggybacking on what you said. You know, speaking about the business, you guys, we could all sit here and talk for a million years about how the business has changed. But I think yeah. one of the big things, and David, you would know the best, uh, is that we got rid of character actors. What's wrong with being a character actor? Yeah, I mean, to me. Phil Seymour Hoffman is the biggest character actor out there. He can make you laugh. He, he used to be able to make you cry. And he went from character to character. You know, we've, we've, we've made it where, you know, we want to be, everybody wants to be the rock or Tom Cruise. And I'm not, I'm not taking away. They're great. They're great people. Yeah. You know, we bow to them and what they do in making money, but we've, we've lost a, a, a part of the business um, that has, that really can help tell stories, which are the character actors. You know, I, you make a great point. I think I, w I have to wonder, because like the big shift I think that happened is like the social media aspect and then also to like a lot of the superhero movies, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, I have to wonder if it we shifted from character actors because everyone needed to be a superhero. Everyone needed to be the, the antagonist rather than, you know, all of the different shades and flavors that character actors often bring. Yeah. You know, because we just, those story we kind of shifted from those stories. So I just wonder if that's part of the correlation. But that's an excellent point, because you're right. The yeah. character actors are few and far between well, to where they used to be. Yeah. Well, I think, I think w would Batman be there without Robin? You have to have a no. Robin to tell that story. You know, you have to, he, he's there to help him go through. And, uh... You know, that's just the, the, the part of, of storytelling um, mm -hmm. that you have to have. When, when you worked with Meryl Streep, what was that? What was that like? Uh, tell us a little bit about that experience. And now Selena's working with Meryl Streep yeah. on, on Murders in the Building. Yeah. Right? Only, yeah. But what was it like working with? Uh, oh, OK. Real quick. They were referring to her. Uh, in the Leonardo DiCaprio movie, oh, as the goat, as the goat, and she <laughs> thought they were all like the old goat, the old, you know. But it's the, the greatest, greatest of, of all time. time. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, stop yeah. talking. Tell us the Meryl Streep story, please. She is undoubtedly 100% the goat. Uh, she is. Uh, it is a, a just spectacular to not only be in a, a film with her and work with her, but. Uh, more importantly, just sit there and watch her. Uh, when I tell you yeah. it is a light switch, it is the most incredible thing to see. It is as easy for her, like we just turn on the lights. I mean, she has the ability, she's, she's, she knits or crochets, I, I forget which one is the, the one with the one, uh, on set, and <laughs> she'll be telling you a joke one minute and talking about, you know, the news, 
And then the next minute she's crying and, and yelling at Philip Seymour Hoffman, just boom, just like that. Um, yeah. And to be able to witness that and be a part of it, um, you know, I'm forever grateful. For it. Thanks so much for watching that clip of Wizards of Waverly Pod. If you want the full episode, head over to our Wizards of Waverly Pod YouTube channel at the link in the description. And if you just can't get enough and you want exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. There's a link in the description for that too. Imagine that. Thanks for tuning in.